Okay, we will install the servers again into our boat. This was a test setup I used to adjust a gyroscope, but we have to wait till another time because I was not happy what happened. Back to the studio. This is the keel now. We have officially no weight anymore in the boat. And we still have the slot for the boat where we can attach the foil. I also attached a kind of pole which I can move with the servo in the middle of the boat. And that can be used to adjust some counterweights or something like this. We now will be rigging the boat and then go to the lake. As life goes, I figured out that I cannot place the servo setup into the boat with this servo installed. So I dismounted all the glued parts and will rip that thing out if it gets out. Here you can see the servo inside the boat. Focus, focus, focus. Um, it was just a carbon fiber plate and it was just glued onto the hull. It's now a little messy, but we have some room to adjust all the servos inside the boat and get the sheeting back to work. Okay guys, as you can see, the boat is floating, kind of. Um, the foil is too heavy, and what happens is, after a little gust, we lost sight and the boat tilted and the keel out of stainless steel is not heavy enough to keep the boat upright. Yeah, so all we can do is now wait and hope for the best that the boat is kind of dry and then we have to figure out how to get up from this. Okay guys, now I think we have to figure out a way to collect the boat and the only chance I can see at the moment is to change the closes and swim or as you can see we have a rope running around here so maybe we can use this yeah that's how life goes um, I will take you with me if the boat Oh, it got up right. I think it's now sinking much quicker. I will swim. <sighs> At this no, point that's... I want to use the moment and thank you for all your comments. Um, the idea of chopping up the weight and using the foil is pretty much born from you guys. It's the most exciting thing to start a YouTube channel and I really can now feel how everyone is getting into making videos because the support from everyone coming from around the world is just phenomenal. It's pretty strange that foreign people just hook up with me and told me some tips and tricks, some servo setup things. Um, I met amazing people like Thomas who are a big part of my late evenings. I can chat um, with him and uh, that is an encouraging um, moment for me. Here I'm now running with the camera inside the gimbal. The gimbal is a new purchase, purchasement, purchase, purchase. Um, you know what I mean, I just got it and um, I thought I can make the video quality a little better because the camera will be much smoother, but that turned out to be wrong. I have no idea how to manage this problem, but I will let you know and if one of you have an idea, then please write down in the comments what you think and what could help. Here yeah, I'm now climbing over the fence and try to catch a look at the boat. By now I figured out that the camera is still recording, um, but I thought I can just chop it up later and maybe record some sound, which wasn't possible, to be honest. Oh, 
Oh man, I'm really losing this boat. That's so sad. That's so sad. Okay guys, let's talk about what just happened. I don't know if I can recover the footage, but I lost, lost the boat nearly. I got the boat back, uh, as you may can see. Okay everyone, so I can explain you what just happened. The weight of the keel is simply not enough to keep up with the increasing weight of the sails, which are getting wet. Next part is if the boat keels, heels to the side where the foil is, then the foil is also producing some downward momentum. And so that we need even more weight in the keel to keep the boat upright. What I have learned from this, first of all, I should have tested the boat flat on the water like it was capsized. Second, I want to have a better camera or at least make some decent complete video with all the capturing of the boat. Um, that really bothers me, but I'm sure in the next video that will be covered. Third of all, the boat is not completely sealed and to make that I have no idea how to do that. Um, to test it out I think I can bring the boat to the lake and then completely submerge it and see how long it takes to drown the boat. Yeah, that's basically it for now. Um, I can show you the boat. Here you can see the foil, it is only attached to one side, so I have a neutral side uh, still remaining. Uh, what I figured out and what I found was that um, the weight of the foil is really helping with the momentum and making the boat really fast. And the gimbal I just got is out of control. I have no idea how to move and operate this gimbal yet um, yeah anyway let's keep it still <laughs> 